how to import products from any website to Shopify hello guys and welcome to this new tutorial today I am going to show you how you can import any products from any website such as Amazon Aliexpress eBay or even a Timu to your Shopify store it is very easy and simple to do all you have to do is to follow up the tutorial from the beginning till the end and you will be guided the right way now the first thing that you have to do is you go to shopify.com then you have to connect to your store after you have connected to your store you are going to this search bar and then you only type robo robo like this and then you can search for robo in the app store of shopify the next thing that i am going to do is to watch for an app called Robo Product Importer. This is the uh, logo of the app. I'm going to click on it. We have here the app is already installed in my store. All you have to do is to install it and you will be guided to the uh, website or the official website of the Robo application. As you can see here, we have uh, some instructions. We have to install the free Chrome extension. You click on, on here and you will be uh, seen this extension you will not need this extension all you have to do is to go to their import page and you will be good to go the step two is to visit the product details page on any online store the third step to click on robo extension and uh, here we are good to go now I am going to click on import page this is the first step that I'm going to do then I am going to search for a website or a furniture or also a source uh, website I am going to use the three websites Amazon Aliexpress and also eBay I am going to amazon.com then let's go ahead and find a product uh, I have uh, forgot to mention something well, here on the account you have to uh, set or put the website that you are working with such as uh, my Shopify here I have connected to my store already if you didn't all you have to do is to go to account then you have to connect the store now I'm going back to home import page and we'll be good to go I'm going to choose a product let's go ahead and choose any product from Amazon right here we have this uh, glass temper or uh, this tempered glass screen protector I am going to click on the link right here copy the link then go to the import page product on uh, Robo click on uh, or paste the link then click on import and we will see some details right here the uh, thing or the trick of the app is to go ahead to the uh, website then you click on add to Shopify and it will be redirected to new to the import page and everything will be right here as you can see now we have the basic info the title the product type it is up to you to change change everything the collection it is up to you to uh, put whatever you want but a little disclaimer for this one they have uh, made a disclaimer if the uh, application or the website didn't work properly with the uh, title or with the product type or anything uh, from uh, these specification it is not their fault because uh, the lot of effort that the application will make uh, so it will make some errors so it is up to you or uh, it is to you to change uh, these errors as you can see here we have the images the description and the uh, final step is to click on import here I am going to uh, add this product to my Shopify store I will click on add product then product imported successfully I am going right here on my Shopify store then I will click on products then I will as you can see here we have the product that we have we have three in stock everything is in order from the description to the title to the image and also the price here you have to adjust the price and you will be good to go here we have the SKU code the uh, the weight the variation if uh, the product has a variation and everything will be go will be good now I'm going to import another product from another website let's say that we are going to import from Aliexpress let's go with this MagSafe case I am going to click on the product here 
uh, I have to precise the product let's go ahead and put or select any product that we are going to put for example let's go with this one tester for iPhone this is the product that I am going to pick uh, all I have to do is to go ahead for the product then we are good to go I am not going to use one of these products I'm going to use a standard product let's go ahead and choose whatever we have let's go with this I'm not going with the case I'm going with this one because it has a good illustration images and everything now click on copy go to import page import or paste the link then click on import and I will go to the basic and it will fill up the forms right here also the description the image and we are here now we have the title we have the vendor we have the price you can change everything right here for example I'm going to put it for example 1999 the comparison to 30 and it is up to you here description you are going to remove this and put a description from Aliexpress you are, if, if it has a description or you can put ChatGPT to put a description for it now the third uh, or here the third step the images you have to uh, load up the images and then the first step is to click on import I'm going to import it right here go to the Shopify store right now refresh it and we will be good to go going back right here to the product section and we have the handheld turbo fan this is the images are not available because it didn't read the Aliexpress images is uh, it is up to us to modify the images now let's go with eBay I'm going to choose a product from eBay let's go ahead and put for example these type of products let's go ahead and put a product I don't know this one I think let's go with this one now I am going to get the pro the product link go to import page right here click on import go to the basic info and we will see right here everything is right here put a description also the images are here the variation and you are good to go and the third step is to add to Shopify and you will be good to go now I am going to show you another app that will make the difference between the first app and the second one which is the Importify app. I am going to type Importify on the search bar Importify and then I am going to search for it in the App Store. It is an integration that you can see right here easy drop shipping. It is installed in my case all you have to do is to install to your case and then click on open here I'm going to close these uh, these pages I don't need them click on open again and I will see the website it has an integration that you can see uh, this is the integration for Google Chrome it will work better for Google Chrome as you can see importify the widget we have the home the instruction it has an instruction and the support if you need any help I'm going back to right here here the importify it will be guiding you to the dashboard on their app.importify.net and you have to set up your shop or your Shopify this is my Shopify right here it is linked this is the store linked on here and everything will be set on import list now I am going to sh let you see a demonstration here we have the importify app I'm going to choose a product from Amazon for example let's go with or let's go with some laptops and I'm going to put this any laptop or this one I'm going to set it right here then I have here the link click on importify and we have here to import from Amazon please upgrade now no worries I'm going to Aliexpress Aliexpress then we will be good to go I'm going to put a free site I don't want to upgrade I'm going to uh, Aliexpress then I'll choose another product any product that we have don't need these I only need a simple product 
right here this is not the product that I want but it's okay I'm going to with this for example this is the product that I'm seeking for click on the extension that I have installed on my uh, Chrome click on import now it will let me see a box right here which contains the photo the title the collection the type you can put or modify whatever you want the price you can edit the price or you can let it as it is and simply click right here you have the description you have the variants you have the video if the product has a video and we have the photos i am going to add to my store and we'll uh, wait for some little bit of time then we have successfully uh, created the product i am going to my shopify store then i will refresh this page then i will go to the product section and we will see if it has imported the product and as you can see it is right here the usb night light led crystal ball lamp table it is imported with the description the variation and everything is set i want to see it for example on my store as you can see this is the the product we have here the variations and everything that's very cool and this is very simple you can choose between these two apps robo or you can use importify it is up to you that was all for today's video i hope you guys that you have enjoyed the content and hope to see you soon on the next one